Dragon Ball Spark and Zero, in my opinion, the biggest game of the year and the game of the year. Black Myth Wukong fans, I'm not trying to hear it, is days away from release. And with that being said, I still don't have a main team or even a main shell of characters that I want to play. So in today's video, we're going to be hopping over to TierMaker.com, where I found a list of all 182 characters on the base roster of Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. And I'm going to be ranking them from characters that I really like, feel like I have to play to characters that I really don't give two shits about. So if you guys are interested in seeing the types of characters that I'm going to be looking into and possibly even by the end of this video, maybe even having a main team in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero, consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel for more daily Dragon Ball Spark and Zero content. And without further ado, I don't want this video to be like an hour long. So let's just hop right into it. All right, so first characters first on the list. Do I see myself ever playing Teen Goku from OG Dragon Ball? Uh, from the little bit of gameplay that we've seen of this character so far, I like his animations. I think his moveset's pretty cool. How he flies around on the Nimbus is really cool, but is this a character for me? Uh, I'm gonna put him in A for right now. I think S will be reserved for characters that I'm definitely trying out day one, like no questions asked. A will be reserved for characters that maybe make the three to five character slot on my team or characters that I'll probably try as the week goes on. Uh, B will be for characters that, you know, hit or miss. I might try them. I might not. Maybe I'll, you know, get to them eventually, but they're not my main priority as soon as I get the game. C will be for characters that I don't care too much for. But I mean, eventually, maybe I could get to them and maybe they'll have something that I really enjoy and they end up going up a few tiers here. And D will probably be reserved for characters like giants or characters that I could see myself using in challenges. Maybe some of the grounded characters like Hercule, uh, Yajirobe and things like that. But now we're going to get into Goku early. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Out of all of the Gokus in this first row right here, Goku early is probably going to go in S tier for me because I this character is so sick to me, especially in Spark and Zero where we have the uh, Kaioken boost skill now and the way that key charging while you're in Kaioken looks, it's, bro, it looks so good to me. And also the handheld spirit bomb, he has uh, pretty cool combos and everything like that. So I'm really excited to play Goku early in this game. I think that's a pretty good spot for him. I can really see myself, you know, maining this character in some facet on my team. Um, you guys might disagree with me, but I, I really like this character. Goku mid. Uh, memes aside, I like this character. I really like his uh Super Saiyan transformation. It's the iconic one from the from the Namek saga. But memes aside, I'll probably put this version of Goku and Super Saiyan Goku in A. Um, obviously somewhere down the line, I will be trying out this character. I really did like him when I got the chance to play him at Anime Expo. I actually played him more than Goku early, but seeing other people play Goku early, oh, they, they got me convinced, man. I got to play this character. As far as this version of Goku, though, Goku mid, um, like I said, I will play him at some point. He's not going to be my main priority when the game comes out. But one Goku that will be my priority when the game comes out is this guy right here. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Oh, my Lord. One of the, if not the sauciest versions of Goku in the game so far. And they fixed the Dragon Fist windscreen animation for him. So I definitely want to see that day one. Um, but other than that, these other versions of Goku end. I don't really care for it too much. So I'll go ahead and put them in A. Super Saiyan 2 Goku, I actually want to play a lot. But Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he is going to take precedence there. Now this, this is going to hurt my heart a lot here. Scouter Vegeta. Scouter Vegeta, unless I see something that just blows my mind with this character, I'm comfortable actually putting him down here in B. This isn't a character that I'm going to focus on too much. This ain't Dragon Ball Fighters, man. He had his time in that game, I'm going to be honest. And with that being said, Grade 8 Vegeta, like I was saying earlier, guys, I'll probably just go ahead and put him in D down here. I don't really care for a lot of these giant characters too much, and they still make the camera kind of wonky in the game. So when I have to play against giant characters, I mean, I guess it is what it is. But as far as me playing the giants, until we get like orange, giant orange Piccolo and Cell Max, I probably don't care for these guys too, too much. Now, Harutagarn, I'm definitely going to be trying out. Giant Lord Slug looks pretty cool from what we saw in the trailer. But other than that, until we get uh, giant orange Piccolo and Cell Max, not really my, you're not really my cup of tea. All right, early Vegeta. I'm going to be honest here, just to speed this along a little bit, a lot of these versions of Vegeta, I will go ahead and put in B as well. I think this version of Vegeta has one of the sickest Big Bang Attack animations. Um, But Super Vegeta is over all of these other Vegetas in this first row to me right here. 
Super Vegeta is one of the Vegetas that could possibly make my main team. I really like that character. Everything about him looks sick. His animations, his combos, just... I, I like Super Vegeta in this game. Now, Vegeta in, I will probably also put him down here in B as well. Until we get to Majin Vegeta. Majin Vegeta is totally different. Don't get me wrong. Majin Vegeta probably has the sickest Vegeta animations out of everyone up here right now. Uh, the Vegetas, at least. So, I'll probably go ahead and put him at the end of A as well. Base Vegito and Super Vegito. A lot of you guys might, y'all might get on me for this one. I don't really care to play Vegito in this game. Like, yeah, he looks sick. Yeah, I'm going to try him out. So with that being said, I will put him in A. But I don't think he's he's not going to go in S for me. Like, I'm going to try out Vegito, obviously. But a character, the next character that's going to go in S is this one right here. Super Gogeta got me sold. This is probably the first character that I can confidently say will make my main team, at least starting out when the game first comes out. Super Vegeta, out of everybody up here right now, is the sickest character that I've seen so far in this game. Like, he had... Bro, if you haven't seen gameplay from this character yet, definitely go check out the homie Rom's video, man. He, he, he went crazy with this character. Definitely sold me on him. So we're going to be playing some Z Gogeta in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Let me just leave it at that. Kid Gohan, I actually like Kid Gohan. I got to play him in the demo as well at Anime Expo. I'm um, definitely not a character that I care too much on maining or anything like that. And since I've already played him, I don't really care to explore with this character anymore right now until I see something cool with them from maybe somebody else. But right now, I think Kid Gohan can confidently go down here and see. Oh, man. I didn't think he would be coming up this soon. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Every version of Team Gohan gotta go in S tier, man. This is the character that I've been talking about the most for months now. If you guys have been watching a lot of my content, you know that every time this discussion comes up, I tell you guys that I'm going to be maining Team Gohan in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. And this team right here honestly doesn't look too bad. Team Gohan, Z Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That's not a bad show right there. That's, that's definitely not bad. If you guys don't already know, this was my main in DBFZ, so I kind of want to, you know legacy him over on to dragon ball spark and zero if that's the correct term but yeah this is a character that i'm definitely going to be playing and trying out day one probably going to be taking up the majority of my time outside of you know some showcases that i feel like need to be done for content but yeah team gohan definitely making a main squad great say man uh i don't really care about great say man too much same with some of these other characters that are left in this row right here so i'll probably go ahead and put him in c tier i know that might break some of you guys' hearts but I'm not really a Saiyan Man player in any game that he's been in. Adult Gohan, another character that I don't really care too much for. Now, if we're talking about uh, Super Saiyan Adult Gohan in the great Saiyan Man outfit without the helmet and all that, that's a different story. But even just Adult Gohan as a whole, unless we're talking about Ultimate Gohan, I... Damn, you guys are going to hate me for this. I'm probably going to just put Adult Gohan down here. Yeah, this isn't really a character that interests me too much. Teen Gohan is my man. That's my man's right there, all right? That, that's where my allegiance lies. Until we get to Ultimate Gohan. Ultimate Gohan. Oh, man. These next two Gohans right here, they might got to go up here in S tier, man. I'm definitely trying out Ultimate Gohan. Super sick in any game that he's in. And Sparking Zero definitely did not disappoint with his this character. All of his animations look crisp. His super attacks just are insane. And yeah, I think he's going to have just as much sauce in this game as he's had in Dragon Ball Fighters and any game that he's been in before that, really. Future Gohan. Damn, a lot of the, a lot of my S tier is about to be made up of Gohans, man. I definitely want to try out Future Gohan in this game from the gameplay that I've seen. It hasn't been much, but he definitely looks interesting. He, he, he actually looks hella sick, if I'm being honest. So Future Gohan, really nothing else to say. A lot of these Gohans are going to have to get... Uh, gonna have to experiment with a lot of these guys right here maybe narrow my team down to one of them if i had to pick between teen gohan ultimate gohan and future gohan i don't know man i might have to set cpu versus cpu in the in the dual mode and let them duke it out for who can be on my team man put it on the super hard difficulty and hey they'll get to decide who makes the squad base future trunks with the sword this will probably be another character that i'm gonna put in a right here i don't want to put him in s because i don't want to commit to trunks right now but if i had to pick between this version of trunks and the other two right here this is definitely going to be the one that i would commit to before them um base melee trunk well melee trunks as a whole i'll probably put him in b he looks pretty cool 
um super trunks looks pretty cool too i actually put super trunks up here because he looks like a really funny character so far um kid trunks i can't really see myself playing this character uh base goten as well super saiyan goten probably put these guys down here now go tanks is a character that i'm gonna have to put in s tier as you guys well if you guys have been watching my content this is another character that i've been talking about playing a lot um any version of go tanks it doesn't matter i'll obviously always start out in base but i don't really care about using goten and trunks mid match into this character unless we run into cost issues which could happen that could definitely happen so we'll see what happens with go tanks later on down the line right now right now my s tier is really just focused on these versions of gohan and z gogeta so next is gonna be piccolo piccolo will go down here in s tier along with piccolo fused with kami and i'll probably throw nail down here in see i feel like i don't want to underestimate nail man i feel like i'm gonna put nail down here he's gonna get snubbed but he's gonna turn out to be one of the cooler characters in the game so right now i'll put nail in c i feel like that's fair we haven't really seen much if any gameplay at all from this character but as far as these two versions of piccolo right here i think piccolo is another character that looks really cool in this game I don't remember if I've seen any gameplay of Piccolo fused with Kami yet. Maybe you guys could possibly direct me to that and I can check some of that out. But um, Piccolo is pretty much a sick character in any game that he's been in, uh, whether it be Fighters, Xenoverse, the past Tenkaichi games. A really interesting character, I will say. So until I can get some time to experiment with this character myself, he'll go in A, which means that eventually I will experiment with him, but he's just not my main priority right now. Krillin! the homie dato doya i'm gonna leave this one for dato as well man krillin is gonna go down here in b probably right now just not a character that i care too much for oh yamcha gotta go in a man hey i i i learned my lesson sleeping on yamcha in fighters man this character always has some super cool stuff in his kit his animations look insane in this game i love spirit ball so i'm not gonna sleep on yamcha at all definitely a character that i'll tweak around with at some point Tien. Tien is an interesting one, man. I have a couple of friends that are definitely going to be playing Tien. They've already made it known. So I'll probably throw Tien somewhere between A and B. Maybe. Hmm. Man, Tri-Beam is always an issue, man. In any, any of these games that Tien is in, he can use Neo Tri-Beam. is always an issue, bro. So I'll put him in A tier because I kind of want to see what he can do for myself. He's always a really cool character in my opinion. So I'll give him a chance. I'll, I'll give him a chance. I won't just write him off down here in B or C tier for right now. I'll definitely give Tien a chance at some point. Chaozu, I'll be honest. I don't really care for anything that Chaozu could possibly bring to this game. Maybe uh, he'll probably be a challenge character for me. Him, Yajirobe, some of these giant characters, Nail even, unless Nail has some really cool stuff. These will be characters that I try to take into challenges. Yajirobe, yo. Hey, man, I, I, like, like with some of these other characters, I learned my lesson about Yajirobe in past Tenkaichi games, so I'm not going to sleep on him at all. I'll actually put Yajirobe in... I'll put Yajirobe in B tier. I do want to mess around with his Sensu Beam mechanic and everything like that, but... I'm not too terribly concerned with Yajirobe right now. Rhyme's gameplay was super sick. He definitely sold me on this character a little bit more than I was initially. Um, so I'll put him, I'll put him around this mid area. He's not a character that I'm gonna be focusing on right off bat, but the more cool stuff I see surrounding this character, the more I'm gonna be interested in him. Master Roshi. I'm actually gonna put Master Roshi right here in A tier. This might actually surprise some of you guys with how I've been doing some of these other characters like Krillin, Yajirobe, uh, Nail, and Chaozu. But Master Roshi actually looks pretty interesting in this game. Um, I never played him in Fighters. I don't know if... Was Master Roshi in Xenoverse? It's been months since I played that game. So you guys would have to let me know. But Master Roshi is somebody that I would definitely see myself experimenting with. And this is like a cool little core Earthlings team right here. Yamcha, Tien, and Master Roshi. That looks like a little fun team right there that I might actually throw together for a video uh, in the first couple of days in the game. So stay tuned for that, fellas. Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan is going to be like our resident challenge character in the game. Uh, I can't really see myself playing him outside of doing some challenges or maybe some custom battle scenarios, things like that. No disrespect to my Mr. Satan mains out there. Y'all are stronger than me. I wish you luck in your rank matches, but I, I don't want to make the game even harder for myself than it's already going to be. 
Videl, I'm not gonna lie to you fellas, Videl gotta go in A tier because what I've seen from her so far is extremely cool. The Her little super attack where she just gives you the boot straight to the face is hilarious. I like the way her key charge looks where it's like barely an aura. Even when she goes sparking mode, she barely has an aura. She just has a lot of cool uh, little things about her, like her animations and things like that. So I, I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing what Videl can do, you know, in my hands when the game comes out. Oh, we finally got another S tier, boys. Bardock, day one. He might have a day one spot on the team. I'm not going to lie. I don't even really care how he plays. A team, a Bardock, future Gohan, and Z Gogeta team, that sounds pretty nuts to me. Hey, don't steal my team now. Not, not too much on my team now. Don't take my team. But uh, maybe even like Bardock, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Ultimate Gohan. Bro, that... Uh, these characters that I got up here in S tier, man, I know y'all gonna be jacking my team. It's all right, fella. It's all right, man. Yo, we all love some Bardock. We all love some future Gohan, too. I get it. I get it. All right? But Bardock, definitely a character. I haven't seen anything of yet. I think I've seen a little bit of... Uh, I think I've seen a super attack, and that's about it. But like I said, I don't really care how Bardock plays. He's a character that I'm definitely gonna be trying out day one, and he probably already has a spot on my main team. All right, so we can kind of zip through these next couple of characters. Raditz... I don't really care too much about. He can go and see Cyberman, another challenge character. Nappa. I might care about Nappa a little bit more than uh, these other characters right here. I might actually try to play a little bit of Nappa in the first couple of days. Yeah, I think B might be a good place for Nappa. I'm, I'm a little bit interested in Nappa. I'm not even going to cap to you guys. If you hop into a stream or something like that and you see me labbing with this character, don't be alarmed. I do kind of like Nappa. I, I kind of like Nappa a little bit. He's a, he's a big body guy, all right? If you hop in the stream and I'm labbing with Nappa, just 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 chill, okay? Freeza Soldier. Man, wh why do I feel like the Freeza Soldier is going to have some, like, super gimmicky stuff? He he's going to have some nut stuff about him. Pause. For right now, I'll throw him in C. I bro, I just have this gut feeling about the Freeza Soldier. There's going to be something about this character. Mark my words and come back to this video when somebody finds some crazy tech with this character. I'm telling you right now, I could be wrong. I'm open to being wrong, but I feel like there's going to be something crazy about this character later on down the line. Kui? Uh, probably not, let's be honest. I'm actually going to throw him down here. I don't I don't care about Kui. Let's just keep that one short and sweet. Dodoria. The fat bastard. Uh, the Doria, yeah, he could have he, he could have some cool stuff about him too. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the, the Doria main is out there cook up. So for right now, I'll put him in C. Zarbon and Super Zarbon, I'll also put them in C as well. Um, for right now, I don't really care too much about a lot of the, these Frieza Force characters. But when we get to the Ginyu Force, that might change a little bit. So Goldo. I'll put him in C as well. I feel like he's going to have some gimmicky stuff about him also with his uh, paralysis and everything like that. Just not my type of character. His hitboxes could be a little bit wonky as well since he's a really small character. Kind of like Chao Tzu and maybe Kid Trunks and Goten and things like that. Well, we'll just see how stuff like that progresses when the game with the game's lifespan. We'll even see if hitboxes turn out to be a problem later on down the line. That could just be a non-factor in the game, period. Raccoon. I'm going to put Raccoon right here behind Nappa, man. Yo, some of these big body characters, bro. Not, not the Giants. Just the big body characters like Raccoon and Nappa. And seeing how Raccoon was jamming in that online gameplay, man, when he key charges, yo, I'm a fan already. I'm already a fan of Raccoon, man. Jace and Birder. Jace, I'll probably put down here with Goldo. Uh, yeah, just not really too much to say about Jace. I don't really care about him too much. Now, Birder and Captain Ginyu are a different story. If Birder is anywhere near as good as he was in past Tenkaichi games, I will actually put him up here in A. Birder might be a character that you see me labbing with the first couple of days on stream. Birder might be somebody to look into. Captain Ginyu. I feel like Captain Ginyu needs his own tier, man. Captain Ginyu is your resident DLC thief. If you don't feel like buying any DLC, fellas, Captain Ginyu is right there for you. You don't feel like buying Beast Gohan. Hey, man, you're going to be playing a bunch of Beast Gohans online anyway. So just get used to playing some Captain Ginyu. Get used to that body change, and you'll be you'll be a Beast Gohan master in no time. Does body change work on giant characters, though? That's something I'm kind of interested to see. We'll probably have to lab that when the game comes out. All right, all of these forms of Frieza right here, I will put them in B. I feel like I've seen so much Frieza gameplay at this point. I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of I'm saying I'm kind of sick of seeing this character right now outside of Mecha Frieza Mecha Frieza is a character that I will actually put up here in a I'm kind of interested to pick up this character myself a little bit 
not somebody that I can see myself maining, but a character that I'm definitely interested in playing around with a little bit. King Cole. King Cole can go right here and be behind his son. Um, King Cold isn't really a character that I'm too terribly interested in playing. Uh, he does look relatively cool. So I think mid tier is a pretty good spot for him. He looks kind of cool to me, but I don't really care too much about playing him. If I ever run into a King Cold online, salute to you, man. I'm really going to be paying attention to your gameplay because I think he could possibly be inclined to do some really cool shit but just not somebody that i can see myself dedicating to dr jero and android 19 are tricky picks because i feel like i'm just playing them for the gimmick for the key absorption gimmick with super perception and things like that which is going to be super sick by the way we just learned a couple of days ago or i think it might have been yesterday in the the new article from bandai namco that both of these guys can absorb using super perception as well so i'm really excited to see maybe them absorbing final flashes or kamehameha's or something like that that's gonna be super cool to see if i go online and i pull a super spirit bomb and these guys absorb that yo i, I might i might just scoop i am be honest i might just scoop man that that's that's dastardly don't you don't you dare absorb my spirit bomb man android 17 and 18 uh, I'll be honest, more characters that I don't really care too much about terribly. Uh, if we had Super 17 up here, he would probably go up here in S tier, but no Super 17 for right now. So majority of the androids will go down here in B tier. I'll probably get to them eventually, but outside of Dr. Jero and 19 having the key absorption gimmick, uh, I don't really think 17 and 18 fit my play style too much with the no key charging and everything like that. I know they'll get their key back generally faster than other characters since they can't charge until you go into sparking mode, but just not not my type of play style for this game. Android 16 is a different story. Like I said, I like a couple of these big body characters, man. I'm probably going to try Android 16. Just look, look at him, bro. His, his render just looks so good. Everything about this character looks so good in this game, man. And he's another character that I slept on in DBFZ, so I don't want to make that same mistake in this game. I want to at least give him a chance and see how he is. I know you could probably say the same thing about Android 18. A lot of people slept on her in Fighters as well. But, I mean, 16 is just a character that I've never really been too inclined to play. Uh, 18 has. I have played a lot of 18 in past games. So I do want to give 16 a chance in Sparking Zero. All right, so here's where we're going to kind of start separating a, one, a character from their transformations a little bit. Because I personally don't really care about these early versions of Cell too much. But when we get to perfect Cell, oh yeah, oh champ. He got to go up here at A tier at least. He got to go in at least A tier. Now, if he, this is another character that if he's anywhere near as good as he was in past Tenkaichi games, I might have to move him up here. Perfect Cell specifically. I might have to move him up here, but for right now, I'm comfortable putting him in A tier. He's a character that I'll get to eventually. These are definitely the characters that I'm interested in day one. Perfect Cell could move up there, but for right now, he's in the we'll get to him tier. Cell Jr., another character that I don't really care about too much. Spopovich, he's a big body. He is a big body. You're not wrong about that. So I'll put him in C tier. I don't care about Spopovich too much. Uh, Spopovich, excuse me. I know somebody will correct me down below in the comments. Um, I'll probably try him out eventually. Um, but he's just a super violent character, man. So eventually we will try this character. When I make my pure violence team, spoiler alert, I'm not telling y'all who's on that team. I don't want to see that pop up anywhere before I have the chance to do it. But when I make my pure violence squad, he's going to be on there. Deborah. Another character that I'm going to put in A tier. This is a character that's been really low key in all the footage that we've seen so far. I don't think I've seen a single person upload Deborah gameplay. So that interests, that, that interests me a lot more than everybody else we've seen so far. This is the first character that I, I can confidently say that I want to play that I haven't seen any footage of yet. Now, maybe you guys have seen, you know, a video floating around there somewhere of some Deborah gameplay. But that's a character right there that I'm really excited to check out. Be specifically because we have, or oh, I haven't seen any footage from him yet. Bobbity, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of excited to play this character at first. But seeing the rest of the roster, I really just stopped caring about Bobbity. I'll be honest. I'll put him down here in C tier because I will eventually try him out. He's just not somebody that I'm pri prioritizing day one. Majin Buu. Uh, Majin Buu would definitely probably go down here in B tier. The other versions of Majin Buu definitely interest me a lot more. Fat Buu, I gotta give him his respect. But these other versions of Majin Buu, I mean, man, have y'all seen that Buhan gameplay? Have y'all seen what Buu tanks can do? 
Like, come on now, let's be serious, man. Super Boo looks absolutely insane in this game. Uh, Evil Boo, I haven't really seen too much gameplay, but he is a character that I'm interested in. I will actually put him in B tier, though, because I probably just care about these other versions of Boo a little bit more. Boo Tanks and Boo Han will probably go up here in A tier for me. Some characters that I'll definitely get to uh, in the first couple of days of the game. Super Boo, I'll put Super Boo up here in A tier with them just because... I mean, just because the absorption, you know, animation looks so clean in this game. So specifically for that reason, I'll probably play some Super Boo just so I can see the absorption uh, mechanic. But other than that, oh, champ, oh, gang. Oh, we got Kid Boo. Kid Boo definitely going up in here in S tier. I, I know, I know, I know. Kid Buu is probably traditionally one of the most annoying characters in any Dragon Ball game you can think of. But that's why I gotta play him, champ. I'm, I'm just being honest. That's why I gotta play him. I'm gonna try him out. I don't know if he's specifically gonna make my main team, but he is definitely a character that I'm gonna be looking into day one. Mystic Ball looks annoying. Just everything about this character, even his intro looks annoying. He's just yapping, just, just on the monkey business of frame one with it. Super Garlic Jr., another character that I probably, I, I, I definitely want to check out this character day one. His animations look really good. Um, from the little bit of movie gameplay that I've seen of this character, I'm actually really excited to play him. Dead Zone looks absolutely beautiful in this game. So Super Garlic Jr., definitely a character that I will be labbing day one. Dr. Wheelo, not on your life, gang. Turles, oh, champ. A lot of these movie characters going into S tier right here. Turles looks insane in this game another character bro turles super garlic jr and let's see let's see who else do i want on my movie squad man i don't know man z broly z bully gotta be on the movie squad man i might throw some lord slug on there too lord slug not really a character that i can see myself maining i definitely will check him out day one um giant lord slug he looks all right it looks all right from what we've seen so far animations look pretty cool um I do want to see a little bit more of his moveset. I feel like he probably is able to do a little bit more than I've seen in, you know, what we've seen so far, which hasn't been much for me specifically. But Cooler looks absolutely insane in this game. I will put, I'll, look, see, A tier is filling up right here. These are a lot of characters that we're going to have to try out later on down the line. But I do like how we're keeping S tier really trim, man. It's going to make picking a main squad at the end of this video fairly easy imagine if we were moving off of you know all these characters right here in a tier imagine if all these characters were in a tier we'd just be right back at square one so final form cooler i'm just gonna put him up here with base form cooler as well space this out a little bit in a tier so we can keep dragging up here metal cooler uh i want to put him in s tier i really do i i want to put metal cooler in s tier so bad but I don't want to have too much up here in the S tier. Like I just said, we're keeping this really trim. Um, a lot of these forms of some of these characters up here could probably be dropped out because I'll just be picking like Super Saiyan or I guess Super Saiyan Teen Gohan is what I would start out with because I really like his transformation animation. Uh, to be honest, that's probably it. <laughs> So base team Gohan would probably be the only character that I'm comfortable dropping from S to A just because I know I'm the majority of the time I'm going to be starting out at Super Saiyan Teen Gohan uh, just to trim this down a little bit more. And that's probably it. Android 13 and Super Android 13. Uh, another couple of characters that I definitely do want to play. I feel like Super Android 13's animations are going to be raw as hell. That SS Deadly Bomber is going to look insane in this game. Um, I don't really care to have him on a main squad. Another one of those characters that has does not have the ability to key charge. So not really my play style, but I am interested to see what this character can do. Bojack. I'm 50-50 on Bojack. I will put him... I want to put Bojack in S tier, but I'll put him in A for right now because I don't want to play him as much as I want to play Z Broly. I do think Bojack is going to be one of the cooler characters in the game. He definitely has my interest some. But like I said, I just there's just other characters that I know for a fact I want to play more than Bojack. So I think he he's a, he has a good spot in A right here. Fat Janimba, like I said, he can go down here. Well, he might have some cool he, he might actually have some cool normals in this game, normal attacks. So I'll put him in C just because I don't want to disrespect him like I'm technically, I guess, disrespecting all these other characters down here in D. I'll actually put him up here in B. I think he's my first giant character that I have above C tier just because I think his moveset itself will be really cool. I 
could possibly be wrong about that who knows i haven't played this character myself um i haven't really seen too much footage from him so i'm kind of still in the dark about that janimba but we'll see when the game comes out uh super janimba now this one might actually shock you guys a little bit but i'm actually slightly disappointed with super janimba in this game i know shocker this is usually one of the cooler characters but outside of like his vanish animation he just really hasn't been doing it for me with the gameplay that i've seen i mean i feel like they kind of missed out on a couple of animations with this character i, I don't know guys it, it, super janimba is just not really hitting for me right now maybe i have to get my hands on this character and play with him myself but for right now i'll put him in b tier just because he doesn't really have my attention too much right now tapion 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 all oh, gp gotta at least go in a tier man but i've been saying this for years now and i'll probably be saying this until i'm 90 but until they give us a version of Tapion in one of these Dragon Ball games that has Harutagarn installs, like depending on which face button you press, uh, Tapion will play the flute and he'll be hitting you with limbs from Harutagarn. Kind of like, kind of like to Yuya from Storm. But until we get a Tapion like that in one of these games, I'm not going to be satisfied with this character. I'm sorry. Tapion is going to be cool no matter what, but I feel like that is such a missed opportunity. Bro, that would be one of the sickest characters in all of Dragon Ball games. Man, just give him the Harutagarn installs. I don't care. Somebody on Roblox do it, please. I, I'll do a video on that if somebody in Roblox does it. Harutagarn. My second giant character going above C tier. I might actually put Harutagarn in A tier, but I just, I, bro, I cannot for the life of me seeing... A, like see myself with a giant on my main team man it just don't fit my vibe i'm sorry like these giant characters would be really cool in custom battles or challenge videos but or or going online with the full giants team that'd be hilarious but other than that like bro I, I just can't with the giants man they they mess up the camera too much it feels really cheesy it's hard to track the opponent sometimes i it's it's, it's not my style man z bully all of these versions of Z Broly have to go. Don't worry, they're not going in ace here. I just got to do this to, to put them up here. Z Broly, easy S tier right here. Out of everybody up here, this is the movie character that I would definitely be trying out the most. I, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. I'm sorry. Z Broly, probably going on the main team. Him and Bardock and Team Gohan, they almost got reserved slots at this point. Team Gohan definitely got a reserved slot. Bardock is damn near there. And uh, Z Broly is right behind him. Super Broly. Another controversial uh, pick for people probably. But Super Broly, I don't really care too much about. Am I in the minority for saying that? I don't really care to play this character damn near at all. I played him a little bit at Anime Expo. I don't really like the way he feels. I don't know if that's been improved on at all in the past couple of builds. Um, I would have to add, maybe I'll ask Rhyme how uh, Super Broly feels to play. But until he transforms, he's just a really sluggish character. I don't really like, I, I don't know. It's something about this character. It just isn't my style, man. I don't really like those sluggish uh heavy hitting type character z broly doesn't look sluggish at all i know i might sound like a hypocrite saying that but z broly doesn't look sluggish even if he is sluggish i'm just gonna have to be a hypocrite for that character i love z broly he's my favorite movie character from z it just is what it is if i'm a hypocrite for saying that i'm just a hypocrite i'm sorry all right now we're at the point where we will be separating some of these characters from their transformations again super goku gonna put him and his super saiyan form down here in b god goku will at least go in a i'm tempted to put him up here in s but am i really that sold on god goku i really like that character i i really do like god goku but i feel like i need to put super saiyan blue goku just off the strength of blue kaioken i kind of want to put blue goku in s tier uh, but it doesn't last nearly as long as Blue Evo Vegeta since they fixed that. So I'll probably I'll probably have God Goku and Blue Goku in A tier. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Ultra Instinct Sign, are you guys ready for your ankles to be absolutely snapped right now? Uh not 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 a guarantee on my squad. Not a guarantee on my squad at all. I'm sorry. I know that might be a shocker. Both versions of Ultra Instinct Goku. I don't get me wrong. I'm definitely interested in trying out this character, but I look at this character the same way I look at Vegito. I know everybody's going to be playing this character day one. I see the hype. I'm just not a part of the hype. The auto dodge is really cool. His animations are beautiful. 
but i uh, just i don't know certain characters get all the hype in the world and i just uh, i don't know man i can't say i don't agree with the hype for ultra instinct goku just just not for me right now i'm sure i'll see a million clips on twitter day one of all the nut shit that ultra instinct goku could do and who knows that'll probably change my mind but for right now just not where i'm focusing all my you know uh time and energy on base vegeta from super uh until we get to blue i don't really actually got vegeta i do care about so i will put him up here in a um but this blue blue vegeta right here since we did get that buff to blue evo i might have to put him in s my first vegeta in s tier this is like my favorite character in all of dragon ball so i'm surprised it took this long to have a version of him in s tier but hey ever since they fixed the uh the what 15 12 to 15 second time limit with super saiyan blue evolution i like this character a lot more now i gotta say blue vegeto is a character that i haven't really seen any gameplay on i will put him up here with the rest of his variations uh until i see some gameplay from super saiyan blue vegeto i can't really say too much how i feel about him i feel like mm, yeah i can't really say i haven't really seen any gameplay on him yet maybe just a character that i have to try out myself oh you guys ready for your ankles to be broken yet again super gogeta or Dragon Ball Super Gogeta, I guess I should say, because we have Super Gogeta up here. Gogeta from Dragon Ball Super, I care about. I'm not going to say I don't care about him, but this is a character alongside DBS Broly. We've seen so much footage of at this point that I'm almost sick of seeing those two characters. Am I alone in that? I'm probably not, but seeing as I already played the hell out of both of those characters when I got the chance to play, and that's they're like the characters that, that we saw all the gameplay on for like the first two months of demos, I'm kind of over it now. Blue Gogeta definitely has some sexy ass animations. But I mean, until I just get tired of all these other characters, I probably can't see myself going back to this version of Gogeta anytime soon. All right, we're making our way in this list a little bit here, even though this video is going on for a super long time. Hopefully we can still keep this under an hour. Now we have base future trunks from Dragon Ball Super. And I have to say that because I call the other trunks future trunks as well. So this is going to be Dragon Ball Super Trunks. Um, another character that I played the hell out of when I got to play the demo. And this is another character that we saw so much footage on until we got that second version of the demo. So another character that I can't see myself running to day one because we've already seen so much from him. But maybe later on down the line, uh, if I'm just favoring this version of Trunks over the other ones, maybe he can move up a couple of tiers. 17 from Super. MVP 17. Holy! Gotta put him in B. Gotta be consistent when it comes to these characters that don't key charge. That just really is not my play style. Super 13 is an exception because I think this character is just gonna look gorgeous in this game. Android 16 is another exception. Um, just because I personally want to try him out. So those two are gonna be the only ones that go a little bit higher than this. I do love uh, MVP 17, probably my favorite Android of all time, but just not somebody that I can really see myself picking up because that's not really my play style. Birisu. You guys might disagree with me for this, but I don't really care too much about Beerus or Whis in this game. I know Whis is super broken, as everybody's been saying with his, uh, I guess, free Ultra Instinct, unlimited Ultra Instinct auto dodge. I don't think that's going to be as busted as everybody's making it out to be because you can just switch up your play style entirely. Just stop being so aggro against Whis, and that's going to force him to play against you. But for right now, I don't really care about either one of these characters too much. Not really going to be my priority. I will definitely experiment with them because I, even though I don't think it's going to be as annoying. It, it'll be annoying, but I don't think it's going to be as big of a problem as people are making it out to be right now. I do want to experiment with Whis a little bit to see what the, the limitations of everything that he can do is. Frieza from Super that transforms into Golden Frieza. I have to specify that. Uh, this version of Frieza, I'll probably put in B tier as well. I don't really care for any of these versions of Frieza outside of Mecha Frieza since I haven't really seen anything from him yet. As you guys are probably starting to tell if you haven't realized already, a lot of these characters that I just feel like I've seen too much gameplay of already are going to go down here in B or below. Characters like this version of Frieza, 
uh mvp 17 dbs trunks dbs goku and vegeta before their god forms dbs broly like just characters that we've gotten an overwhelming amount of gameplay on up until this point i've just lost interest in them already frost and this is what i mean right here i haven't seen anything of frost i want to try him out a little bit so he'll go up here in a tier perfect example kaba oh man i'm surprised they didn't put kaba next to super saiyan 4 gogeta kaba is a character that low on the lowest of keys i'm interested in but i mean really besides whooping up on super saiyan 4 gogeta what what is he gonna I don't really know what he's going to offer my team because they're just other characters in these A and S tiers that I have to play day one. And Kaba's not one of them. I'm sorry. We got to do the custom battle with Kaba versus Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for sure. Or matter of fact, we'll put him in a in a CPU versus CPU match and we'll just end this once and for all. You already know where Hit's going, man. Oh, you thought Hit was going in A tier? Nah, he's going up here. Hit is a character I definitely got to try out day one. Rhyme made him look so freaking fun, bruh. I actually didn't know how I was going to feel about hitting this game. Hit was going to be, uh, no pun intended, a hit or miss for me. Either he was going to be so cool that I felt like I had to play this character, or he was just going to be in the mix somewhere. And right now, he's looking so cool that I have to at least try him out. Goku Black. Oh, champ. Oh, champ. It's another character. Gotta go in S tier, man. And I, I, bro, I we haven't even gotten to the gt characters yet bro and we're already at so many characters in s tier oh this is gonna be hard man i told you guys at the beginning of the video there was like 20 to 30 characters that i knew i at least wanted to try out but now looking at all these characters that i have up here already and we haven't even gotten to the gt portion of the roster yet we're not even done with the super portion of the roster yet damn this video might be a little bit tougher than i thought and we got Zamasu next too. I gotta play Merge Zamasu, man. I have to. I have to play this character, bro. Fuse Zamasu and Corrupt Zamasu. Okay, I'll, I'll put him in A tier. I'll put him in A. I don't know what I'm gonna do when it comes to this character in a main squad. Dude, I love this character so much, man. But we gotta trim the fat off. Okay, so here's what we'll do, actually. No, I can't take Goku Black out. I can't. I, I can't do it. I can't do it, champ. Bergamo, not really a character I care too much about. I'm surprised we didn't get the rest of the trio of danger, but I guess it is what it is. Rosie and Kakunsa. I think Kakunsa will actually be pretty cool. I'm not too interested in Rosie. I will actually put Kakunsa in B tier, though, since she's, you know, one character that we know is going to be a speed type character along with Dispo. Um, so probably a character worth experimenting with a little bit. She can probably be really annoying once you get the hang of her. Ribrianne, not a chance, fam. Probably another really annoying character. But just not, you know, not for me. Cauliflower. Uh. Hmm. I'll put Cauliflower in B. Along with Kale. Even though Kale Super Saiyan versions, I am really interested in trying out. I feel like she could be a really fun character. I'm just more interested in Kefla than I am in Kale and Cauliflower. So for that reason, I will have to put Kefla in all of her forms in A tier trying to speed through this list a little bit more for you guys like i said i really don't want this video to be an hour long we're creeping up on an hour now but we should be able to blast through the rest of this roster anilaza uh down here in c tier another character that i don't really give too much of a care about dispo is different though now we get into the pride troopers dispo another speed type character that i feel like i do want to try out a little bit um, I can't really call the rest of the speed type characters in the game so far. We just know Kakunsa and Dispo will probably be two of them. Possibly Hit as well. Hit could probably be a speed type character too. Um, but I feel like one of the ways to excel in this game is to kind of, you know, have a variety of these different character types on your team. Big Daddy Top. Pause. Uh, base form Top. I don't really care too much. God Top. Oh, lay. Auto S tier. Jiren. Oh man. Damn, they're ah, they're make, they're making this S tier hard, bro. Ah, I feel so wrong putting Jiren anywhere under S tier. No, I, I can't do it. We're just gonna have like 30 characters in S tier by the end of this video. I'm sorry. I tried to keep it, I tried to keep it cut. I tried to keep it lean. But it's hard, man. So many cool characters. Okay, now is now is gonna get real difficult, man. Cause I could literally put all these guys in S tier. But I can't do it. I, I can't do it, champ. 
So I'm going to try to be really st uh, strict with the GT portion of the roster. I probably should have started out with this. But base Goku or GT Goku, I guess. I'll put all of his versions in B tier. I don't really care too much about these versions of him. Now, when we get to Super Saiyan 4 Goku, oh, that's a different story, champ. Oh, that's a different story, gang. Auto S tier. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, another Auto S tier. I'm telling you, fella, I tried my hardest to keep it lean, but it's so... Oh, now I'm about to break your ankles. I'm about to really break your ankles now. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, my favorite fusion. I'm putting him in A. Why am I putting Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in A and not auto S tier? I just honestly... You guys can kill me in the comments for this. Maybe some of y'all will even agree, though. I feel like Z Gogeta is the sauciest, the cleanest, the just... The hardest fusion in the game. I think he looks cooler than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think he looks cooler than Vegito. I think he looks cooler than Murzamasu, Kefla. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Z Gogeta just sold me completely. Pan. I feel like Pan would be cool for some challenge videos. Maybe I don't disrespect her all the way. Let's let's put Pan in B tier. Ooh. The tan Peter Pan. I'll put Oob in A tier. I definitely, and you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to disrespect Oob at all. All right. Not too much on Oob. Okay. Definitely a character that I'm going to try out. Maybe depending on what the costs are looking like, he might be the only GT character to make my main team. I don't think we're going to be able to throw Super Gogeta, uh, Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and the Super Saiyan 4s on the same squad. It's probably not going to be possible. And Z Broly, Baby Vegeta in all of his forms. Now, a couple of days ago, I probably would have put Baby Vegeta in S tier. But seeing as how fat that tier is getting, I'm going to have to put him in A. I, I feel like I already have way too many characters in S tier. Maybe when we're done with the list, I'll go through and try to drop some of these guys out. Just to trim it down a little bit. Because I really didn't want to go above like 15 characters in S tier. But I mean, look at who I got up here, man. It couldn't be helped. Grade 8, baby. One of the cooler looking giants in the game, I'm not going to lie. He does have a really cool looking move set. So I feel like for that reason, he might be, is he my first giant in A tier? No, we have Lord Slug up here too. Okay, so since we have, we, A tier isn't too much of a stranger to giant. So I'll put grade 8 baby up here as well. So the entire character of baby will go in A tier for me. Last three characters. Sin Shenron. I don't really care about Omega Shenron or oh, that guy. Oh, oh, that that fella got to go at least A tier. I really do want to put him in S tier. I might do it. I'm putting I'm putting Omega Shenron in S tier. Now, last but certainly not least is going to be Daima Goku, our third version of Kid Goku in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. And the one character that I have absolutely no idea on how to call. I haven't seen any gameplay of this character yet. Don't know what he's capable of in Daima even. So for that reason, I feel like he has to go in A tier. This is just a character that I'm going to have to, I, I have to try out this character myself day one just to know what he's even capable of. We don't know what his moveset is going to consist of. Like I said, we don't even know what he does in Daima yet. We don't know anything about this character at all. But all right, fellas, I think that is going to do it. And I call it this number almost to a T. I said there's going to be like 20 to 30 characters that I'm really interested in trying out in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And we hit 28 in the S tier. These are the characters that I'm definitely going to be trying out no matter what when the game comes out. Really hard narrowing this down to five characters for a singular team. But I am definitely glad that we did this video so I have this visual to myself. That I'll probably just go down the line and kind of mix and match the teams for these characters. Depending on how costs work in this game. But if I had to pick a couple of characters that I know for a fact that I want to main in this game. Z Gogeta has to go at the top of the list right here. Team Gohan. Probably right in front of him just for the sake of consistency because I've been gassing this character for God knows how long now. And then Bardock. These are the three characters right here that probably no matter what I'm going to be interested in in this game. And the rest of these characters, I'm going to have to figure out a way on how to fit them on certain teams with these guys uh, with the cost system, not knowing how much any of these characters are going to cost yet. 
But yeah, fellas, this is going to be my official list of characters that I want to play in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. I'll be sure to link the tier maker down below for you, fellas, so you can do this list for yourself. And let me know down below in the comments characters that you're looking forward to playing the most. Who is in your S tier? Who's in your A tier? And besides that, I mean, the characters under A tier, you're probably not looking at playing too, too much. So down below in the comments, let me know who are in your S and A tier in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. But that is going to do it for this video, fellas. We are almost a minute away from an hour. Going to have to chop this down a lot in editing. Have a great, great day. And I'll see you fellas tomorrow. Bye, guys.